Is Ronnie, where we bring on a mystery guest who is a close connection to one of our panelists. Now, this week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Tony. Kevin, we'll start with you. What is your relationship with Toby? Uh, this is my mate, Tony. You were once questioned by the police for stealing a life-size cardboard cutout of Hugh Grant. Katie, how do you know what Toby? This is Tony, and he um, freed me from a vending machine when I got my foot stuck in the push compartment. <laughs> This is Tony, and until today, I had never met this man before, but the person that was supposed to be doing this tonight didn't turn up. So I grabbed the first person I saw outside the studio. <laughs> so there we go. Kevin's partnering by Katie's snack machine saviour, or all these standing man. Right, David, off you go. Well, Lee's one is quite difficult to cross-examine, isn't it? It's essentially what Lee's saying is, here's Tony, he's a random bloke. <laughs> You're not supposed to count me. Well, had it gone to plan tonight, I would have said, this is Graham, and he's my self-defence instructor, because I'm learning self-defence. Right. <laughs> well, I have to, Graham, you get beaten up. <laughs> the story I am told is that he hurt his arm this morning, during the self-defence class, and then very late in the day, he got in the car to come here and had some turn because of the painkillers he was on, and cancelled and said, I can't come. That's a sad old story. Yeah. <laughs> so what was Tony doing here before you found him? Uh, he's uh, a joiner, which uh, well, is somebody that puts wood to it. Thank you. I didn't want to think he was somebody that just randomly joined clubs. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure how good this is for national television, but I'll tell you, David. I was just outside that door where some people got for a cigarette. I think, I think you're aware of that door, David. No, right, I'm not. sorry if David's parents are watching to break news like this. But David does that. I'm not talking cigarettes either. No. <laughs> what sort of incentive did you offer this good man to come here and make a complete novelty of himself? Well, well, we'll answer the man, though. The rejected chuckle brother has got the better of me again. Yeah. Lee's story is incredibly <laughs> It's an incredibly genius. 